tomorrow night we're going to start at 6 15. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's going now. Okay. Yeah, it's recording right now. Okay, everybody, it's
and it creates a really negative vibe and a lot of backstabbing and heartache. And so it's got to change. You know, we have to create safe ways for women to interact with each other positively. Um, so creating peer groups, you're, you're a peer who you are. You put yourself in a group of people who are better than you, who are positive and wonderful people, and you become better. I have firsthand experience that in my own life. And so creating ways for women to peer with each other. Um, creating, you know, women of only and open and by educational opportunities because you don't have to like it, but you do need women of only educational environments because some women will not raise their hand otherwise. And it's sad and it's heartbreaking that we have to do it, but it has to be done because, like, you sit them in a class and you watch them and they don't do anything, they don't raise their hand, and you put them in a class for some women and they start to do this. And it's, it's amazing. I wish we didn't need it, but it has to be done. You know, otherwise women won't be at some women. Some women are just like, whatever. Hi, I don't know. But it takes a little bit to get from, I'm a little shy and you know, just got to 2600, to, hi, it's a lot of And so it's, it's a way to bring more women into the community. Um, and also bringing women, men and women into contact with each other. Because we're socially awkward groups. And so, you know, we have to give men and women a way to interact as sexual human beings without being afraid that they'll say something wrong and they'll get black all over the community. Okay, thank you. And so, that's a project I'm looking to, to meet people who want to be involved, both you know, women and men. You know, this is a great idea. You know, I think it's an idea that will change things. And, you know, as many of you know, start small, we're doing some things here. We, you know, we start from the community, grow it over time. So it's, there's going to explode overnight. But I really do feel like providing these opportunities and providing a model for other organizations to provide these, these opportunities is going to make a difference. And the thing we can all do right now, when you meet someone, don't assume they're like anything. Just be open, because as a woman, people will judge me as, uh, you're not that right, oh, yes, I am, how do I do it? But, <laughs> the, you know, be open. Um, when people come into your community, and they're new, RTFM is a pretty nasty thing to do to someone who's trying to work. And that's been the way we've been, and we're changing rapidly. But just, you know, hey, you're new, let's teach you some stuff, we'll show you things. Um, and in summary and conclusion, bringing more women in tech helps everyone, not just women, but the entire community. It brings cultural diversity, brings friendships, we learn to interact with each other. We all have a better time. And if we don't address this proactively, we're going to have a code of conduct of people marching down our door and trying to push it in our throats, which has happened, and I'm really glad we're not here. So, thank you. Thank you. I actually think it does work. I'll uh, uh, stop anyway. So my question is, you know, because, um, I may or may not be a female in the industry. I just want to know why we need more. What, what is, what's the quality of women going to do? I mean, I've been around for a long time, and you know what? I want more smart people in this industry. I don't give a crap what gender they are. I absolutely agree that I want more smart people in the industry because we need more smart people in the industry. Right? You know, more smart minds changing problems. And I also want to say that we need it because we need more viewpoints. Diversity of viewpoints is a beautiful thing. When you have companies that have more diverse workforce, they're smarter and more successful. And I firmly believe that we need a diversity in the community. Okay, and I do I do agree with that. I mean, obviously, diversity does three different opinions and different you know, processes as far as figuring out problems. But to your point that you said earlier, as far as you know, creating an environment where ladies who would, you know, be interacting with gentlemen might not raise their hand and answer a question. I, I don't think that's a realistic approach to the world. I mean, we're around all genders, all minorities, all that, all the time. I'm sorry, if you're going to be in my industry, you need to learn how to freaking deal. And, and I think that that's awesome, and so we'll do a little bit of baking, and we'll throw you in the pool, and then we'll learn from you, okay? And absolutely, if you don't want to play with us, or you don't make opportunities viable, then no. You know, this is what I see is needed. You don't have to.